Hey fellas, me Trapper here. This is going to be the first of what is hopefully to be many Q&A videos. And that's question and answer. Uh, I get a lot of questions via email or people call me or, or they leave questions in the comments and I really enjoy answering them if I can because that tells me two things. Number one, it tells me what people are interested in and also it tells me what points I've missed or I have, haven't hit on in my videos. So uh, we're going to go ahead and get started. Anytime you see QA in the title of a video, um, that's what it's going to be. It's not going to be any fancy editing. It's not going to be any soundtracks or anything like that. It's just going to be, here's the question, here's the answer, here's what I think about it. And when you see the title of the video, it's going to be pretty much how the question was phrased. And that uh, is for the viewer who asked the question. So hopefully they'll, they'll see the video and recognize it. And this way I'm not just answering one question from one person by email, but I'm putting it out there so that everybody else can chime in and add your two cents and we can sort of all help each other. So anyway, let's get started. Today we're going to talk about how to catch a beaver in a 330 conibear trap. I recently had a question from a gentleman who has beavers on his property and he said, I've bought my traps, I've got 330 conibears, I've bought lure, I've watched YouTube videos, I'm doing everything that I can, and I just can't catch any beavers. What am I doing wrong? Well, the first thing we need to do is just start with basics. And one of the most basic sets that you can make to catch a beaver is a beaver dam crossover set with a 330 conibear. Now a 330 conibear is a big trap, it's a lethal trap, and it's a very dangerous trap, so be careful when you're using them. In the state of Alabama, you have to set these traps in a water course. You cannot set these traps on dry ground. That is illegal, and for good reason. So behind me, you can see I'm at a customer's site, and we have a very large beaver dam. The first thing that we need to do in order to make the dam crossover set is to locate the crossover on the dam, and that's the point where the beavers are sliding over the dam and going on downstream. Usually, the crossover is gonna be dead in the center of the dam, but not always. If you can't locate the crossover in the center of the dam, we need to check at the far edges on both the left, left side and the right hand side of the dam. So let's take a look at the crossover and what it looks like and what to look for to find it. So to find the crossover, the first thing I want to do is I want to approach the center of the dam. And that's going to be about right here. Now there are no obvious areas where the beaver are crossing. The first thing you'll notice is the poles that are laying on top. They've got, got them laid on top here. Now as I go across, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look on the downstream side because usually when the beavers are going to cross over, they're going to hit the downstream side and go on downstream. So let's get up on top and let's close, take a closer look and find where they're crossing. Now as I walk along, I'm going to be looking for a channel or an area that's going to be wet, muddy, and look well used. And to me, this looks like it. You'll notice there's nothing laying across right here, and you can see how black that is. That's moist, there's fresh mud on it, and it goes right on across. Those beavers are coming right across here dropping down, and then going on downstream. There may be more than one crossover on a dam, so you need to walk and verify that that's the only one or the major one. So now what we have to do is we have to set our 330 trap on the dam crossover to catch the beaver. So I know the beaver is coming right through here. That's pretty obvious. But where do I put the trap? That's the question first thing you want to make sure of is you do not want the trap on the dead top center of the dam. If you were to put the trap on the center of the dam, it's going to be silhouetted. It's going to stand out like a sore thumb. It's going to be stood up right here. It's going to be an obvious foreign object. Beaver can learn to be trap shy and they will learn to avoid conibear traps over time. So what we, do, what we don't want to do is have it up here where it's obvious. What we want to do is we want to come down a little bit and we want to place the trap 
where it's not quite so obvious. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the trap right here. There's a nice little tight spot right up against here and the trap is going to be on the downhill side of the dam to where it's not silhouetted. The reason I'm going to put it here and not farther down is there's not really a clear channel down here. If I had a really firm clear channel down at the bottom I would get it as close to the bottom as possible. But instead I'm going to choose this area right here. So let's get that done. Okay, so we've got our 330 conibear, and we're going to need a couple of sticks. If you're trapping beavers, you're going to have plenty of sticks. So let's go ahead and get the trap set. You need to be very careful with these traps. Make sure we keep our safeties on. Now, once I've got the trap where I want it, I have to stabilize or support this trap somehow. This is where the sticks come in. Now at this point, you may want to add some sticks over the top just to sort of fence it in and reiterate the point. And the last thing we have to do is attach our trap chain to an anchor or something in the dam so that when we make a catch, the trap doesn't go down into the water. Now what I've done is I've taken my trap chain and I've attached it to this log that's buried in the beaver dam. So this is gonna this is gonna be a very solid support. It's gonna stay put. And you can see there's my trap. Now the key thing here is that I'm not using any lure. I'm not alerting to the, the beaver the, to be on alert. There's nothing unusual about it. And this is this is the beaver's eye view right there. So here's the finished product. You can see my trap is stood up. It is stabilized with sticks so it won't fall over. I've got a little bit of bracing on top. And this is what the beaver is going to see when he comes down. Just like that. So you can see that was fairly easy and straightforward. No lure involved. No fancy supports, just a trap and a couple of sticks. That's one of the simplest, easiest ways to start catching beaver on your property.